Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Lord and Matt Show, episode 68. Ooh, we're wearing suits next week. We're wearing suits yeah. next week. Hell yeah. fucking yeah. <laughs> Can we just talk about the weather? Yeah. One, one word to describe the weather today. Shit. Yeah, uh, this is July, people. Do you think we've ever not mentioned it in a pod? Mm. I was thinking this when I edit. Okay. The weather is mentioned every <laughs> single episode. Well, happy Tuesday to y'all. Yeah. Hopefully it's fucking it's, Thursday. Oh, well, they're watching it on Tuesday. Yeah, but yeah. it's going to be sunny AF when they watch it. 23 degrees. And I wanted your opinion on something. Yeah, fucking hit me with it. And I, this is for everyone, yeah. right? Yeah, comment, comment your opinion on it. <laughs> like the video right now while you're watching, like the video. <laughs> I want you, open up your phone. Yeah. I'm going to airdrop you a picture. I want you to tell me where you we in this picture. Okay. Interesting. Oh, damn. That's a proper fucking detail. They think I'm that accurate. Yeah. Because I'm more of like a... I'm aiming for a... I'm like a G14 sort of person. <laughs> just way off to the bin on the cat you're not one of those guys you're not one of those guys who wheeze who misses the toilet in like a pub in a club or in a football oh, I, stadium I, I do or, like a 360 no scope <laughs> hit the door handle sometimes no I used to yeah don't be that guy I piss on the floor sometimes why because the toilet some poor fucking cleaner has to come and get rid of your piss there's a toilet right there. Yeah. How do public toilets get so disgusting yeah, every time? Yeah, that is actually... A How? Oh, I did see one time I was on the Isle of Wight and it, we were like in the middle of nowhere and we were bur- I was bursting mm. for the toilet. So we, there was just like a, a block and I went in there. A block of what? Just a block, like a building, just like a small block. Okay. And it was just a toilet, it, like in the middle of like a field and it was really weirdly placed. Yeah. But it was a public toilet. Went in there. <laughs> Some... <laughs> Some guy was just doing a shit in each urinal. Why? What like, is the point? What, like he he he'd done one little like rabbit dropping it in the first just... one. The second one was humongous, and then he was stuck on the third one. <laughs> just trying to squeeze it out, and he was just trying to squeeze them out. What? Why? Like, yeah, what, what is, is the, the point? point? What is the? Have you ever just wanted to cause a mischief though? I think that's what it is. I think it's because we're so tied to authoritarianism law that when we have a bit of privacy we can just fuck about <laughs> so because we have rules we have to follow let's go and shit in your idols in the Isle of Wight in Belgium the toilets come up from the floor and then go back down yeah the public toilets go yeet. really twice and is it Belgium and I don't think it's every public toilet I think it's just one how does it dispose of the no because it is it there it goes up and then there's the and then when you're out of the toilet it goes back into the floor like it's a room that comes up from the floor yeah and then it comes back down and just disappears but where does all your stuff go into the ground yeah i mean i guess so it is a toilet it's like a imagine a pub like a green porta potty yeah just go, pops out the ground and then goes back in mm. but porta potties the shit stays in them you have to come and manually oh, mental, get rid it? of them yeah, that's actually yeah. insane that over a festival i've never seen oh a nice God. porta potty like i've never been in um, one that's clean i don't I, think in bournemouth sevens it, it was my first festival that i'd ever been to in 2023 and before we went into the festival there was a porta potty and we were like let's just go to the toilet there was three tampons yeah i read in there was hats in the toilet <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, why do you put your was... hat in a <sighs> actually you know what there was a nice porta potty after the Oxford United Bolton game. You see something, sir? He was struggling to focus <laughs> on my face. After the Oxford United Bolton game. Yeah. There was that lone port potty in the street. Oh, yeah. That was... Yeah, yeah that yeah, had a yeah. mirror. Yeah, that was smelled that nice. Yeah, why, why was, was it there? there? On a random street. Probably for the game. For the game. Yeah, I try and aim for... Sort of G5, I guess. That's probably the most common answer. Like a no? G5. Like, like a, a like G5. A, like a G5. And that, well, do you? Yeah, I don't. I try not to make too much noise. That's uh, no. I'm like a C5 sort of guy. Or C5. recently, you go de- to the back of the bar. Yeah, but it depends what type type of toilet it is. Because sometimes I do like an E3. Like I try to the and left. like where where it dips down into the water. I try and stray my piss to make it run as quick as possible. Yeah, but then it's like it doesn't have. It makes no noise if you can mm. direct it into the thing. Do f- do females aim? Nah. Are you sure they can't? Yeah, but how does it? Surely you control you can control where you pee as a female. Like surely you know how men can point. Surely females can point as well. No, maybe maybe, maybe they can like tense 
and it goes in one direction. Like you can tense on one side, maybe? I don't really think so. I think they m- more shuffle to the edge of the toilet. Can to they control quiet. the muscles individually yeah, yeah. In, in there? Yeah. So they surely they should be at aim then. But there's only so much of a window that it can sort of direct. Yeah, we can that's... literally turn <laughs> 90 degrees left Bends and left. right. <laughs> but their window for opportunity is obviously much smaller. Yeah. But do, so you're saying you don't piss on the floor? Never. The worst toilet I've ever seen was in, for Jack's Four Million, Prison Brighton. Yeah. We were like the only ones in there. So I'm guessing this toilet just hadn't been cleaned for like a couple of days. Because mm. it was like... Or you're snitching on yourself. <laughs> so. But it was like stacked to the top of just poo. And I'm like, surely you might, that, that must have been a, a couple of people pooing on top of other people's <laughs> poo for it to be... Or it's just one guy with three uh, no. different shades. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 there's no way. But I'm like, how can that come out of someone's bottom? <laughs> yeah, club toilets are fucking disgusting. Dude, just grim. The, the fact people do drugs in there and shit is weird. Yeah, like sniff it off the back and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because there's oh. pro- probably... People have pissed there, people have pooed there. And now you're putting it in your nose. But there's still people who work... This has always confused me. And I haven't done any research into this. I just thought of the funniest story. What is it? Go, go, go. So has a clazer. Yeah told me this yeah uh the other day and it is genuinely just the funniest thing ever <laughs> yeah it's a, it, it's a, someone's kink and it's someone's fetish not harry's fetish someone he kids. knows or someone so he went to turkey yeah and in turkey he was just it, like surrounded himself in a group of people he met at the hotel or whatever and he just bumped into this gay guy yeah and this gay guy was like oh i um i was with another gay guy mm. and his kink was to be fisted really yeah so this guy was getting fisted this guy was fisting this other guy yeah and then he puts it up to his elbow and the guy says that's not enough can you do your other hand so he puts both hands in his ass and then he says whilst it's up there he says this is he goes, this is gonna sound odd but this is like a fetish of mine. Can you clap? <laughs> How do you discover that that's what you like? That's what I'm concerned about. How can you fit two hands inside? Round of applause. <laughs> That must go up to like. I your, swear that's not even like possible. That must go up to like your heart or something. That's not. Yeah, that's not even possible. Surely. But he was describing it apparently in such a way that it was like it just has to be true. Like yeah. he could feel bones. He could feel like. Because he was like your bum has like a cave before the intestines, which is where all your poo is stored and stuff. Uh huh. And then he was like, apparently he just broke through the second wall and just kept going. And I'm like, your organs must be in danger. Put all pushed out the way. Oh, Ugh. but we were, fuck, I was just pissing myself. That's insane. So now every time I'm on Xbox, I'm like, Harry, can you do me a favor? He's like, oh yeah, sure. Can you clap inside me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that to him later and just see what you say. You'll find that so funny. <sighs> Wait, what was your story? I don't remember what I was going to say. Because I, I looked at you like that and you were like, what What were you going to say? It was about poo, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I mean, when's this podcast never about poo? Yeah, it comes up so much. Do you think we've got a pod without mentioning poo? Yeah, I'd say it's every other pod. <laughs> every <laughs> pod we mention the weather, every other pod we mention Mentioned poo. poo. <laughs> it's just a, two common things it's in life. It's a vicious cycle. Yeah, pooing and raining <laughs> we need like a clickbait title who's the worst youtuber you've ever watched because i was thinking this that's actually the one i told you before i brought one topic today <laughs> and the one topic was just why there's so much going on right now with, right with youtubers yeah just being exposed Ex- as shitty people really shitty people so many of them like so many of them but why is it always social media people are like the worst people no, I think it's uh, I think it's everyone, but I think the people like actors and all that. I think they do it so proper and disclosed away from, and they have NDAs and they do all this, and they have so much money that they can just like shush money or whatever, mm, hush yeah, money, yeah. hush money. 
Whereas as a YouTuber, it's kind of like... You're still a normal person in society. Yeah, plus, I don't know about you, but I never, ever have once felt like I've got 800k. No, like not even. Like, I thought that when we had nothing, that when we had like a million, it was I was going to be like, oh, I've got this whole like backing against me and I... I now feel like I'm someone in public. Yeah. But n- like, as in like, I'm like the same way if you're an architect, you feel like someone like, oh, I've just built a house. Mm. Like I've like proud. Yeah. I feel proud. But when I walk out of the house, I just feel like no the rest different. of the peasants walking out. Like I forget about it all the time. Yeah. It's because our bank accounts don't have like <laughs> 5 million pounds. In them. Maybe yeah. we'd be a bit... <laughs> When we and you went to get the <coughs> McDonald's ice cream, what? You, you said when we and you, <laughs> you got fucking five people inside that brain. <laughs> when, when me, Jessica, Jamie all went with you to get a McDonald's. But you know, after the McDonald's video, we went to get a McDonald's. Yeah, McFlurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was walking down this road mm-hmm. and I was texting you being like, I'm coming. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're coming. <laughs> We're coming. The cavalry. <laughs> Some guy who was probably like 30. Mm. May- maybe that might be offended him because he watches this, but I'd say like 21. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, some guy like older than me just put his head like really close to my ear and went, love your podcast. Yeah. And it shat me up so much. I went, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Just for, I forget about it, honestly, mm. in all seriousness. And then I'm like, why is that prick staring at me? No. <laughs> never say that. I'll never ever He's say that. He's joking. Yeah. He loves meeting people. I do. I'm getting better at it as well. Mm, you're speaking. I'm actually, I'm actually talking. Couldn't go the other way. <laughs> Before it was like... <laughs> Hello. But now I'm like, so podcast? Yeah, I think I know the guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we always say no. Do you ever get a lot of Where's Matt? No. I get some Where's Lloyd. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've ever been asked Where's Matt. And I say, he's behind me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's in here. <laughs> Lloyd's an idea. Lloyd's a construct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lloyd's an idea. <laughs> He's you're like Tyler real. Durden. Yeah. Imagine that you're not real. Imagine you're not real. Holy like shit. Ima- no, but just imagine someone, not us, obviously. We're not reptiles. But imagine, so- you know how they say like the queen was a reptile and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. But like say you watch someone mm-hmm. and then you, it turned out that they, they, one or both of these people were AI. What would you think? Like let, imagine one of the island boys was AI. <laughs> Why the, the other, island I don't boys? know. Just spam. <laughs> <laughs> or just imagine someone you watched a duo, or TGF, because we've met, we've played, with we've Ramel. met and played in a football yeah. game with Ramel. We've never seen Jay in person, so Jay could just be. Or have we? No, we've never. No, he was never at, seen. He wasn't at the party. No, he wasn't at the TGF party. No. So Jay, imagine Jay was AI. Well, how would you feel about that? <sighs> He's obviously not. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just saying. I would just. I'd feel like whoa. Like nothing's steady. real steady yeah i'd feel really uh my trust issues are already through the <laughs> yeah. roof because you kind of don't think things are real until you see them but that's how i no. kind of feel with certain things yeah i i i was saying that it went through a phase in my life when i was like 18 that i felt like because for me i had to uh, imagine a beach in bali yeah and imagine the tide coming in and like smacking against the sand and you hear the shh that's happening right now in Bali. Yeah, but it just, is it? you're so detached that it doesn't feel Is real. it happening? Like, do, Does like, it only happen when you're there? Right now, there's someone in Bangkok ordering a coffee. Yeah. But is there? There's someone... Is yeah. Bangkok even a real place? It could be called Bang Willy. <laughs> For all we know. But it, it could just be... Like, how do you know that there's this... There's, there's a, <laughs> there could be nothing on the other side of that wall. Like until you step in and the game loads it. up yeah exactly the simulation loads imagine in imagine it though that there's just nothing outside that wall just look at the wall and imagine that my room's not there and you can actually imagine that this is like there's nothing but then this bit's always loaded in exactly because that's what, and like look that's my thing and then if I turn and let's see how the window it loads in it's just a game it is fucking weird like, it, like, like we can't see the road but we can see the reflection of cars and everything. Like Unreal Engine, right, has gotten so 
real real how do we know that we are just not someone being pro i'll uh, make matt a unsuccessful podcast <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's just so many people i know you guys are losing brain cells but there's so many people in the world it's so hard to fathom everything Ooh, fathom just everything like, like when you start thinking about it it really makes me want to just explode <laughs> in what time like not nut I mean like <laughs> just like it scratched yeah. the inside of your brain yeah like I feel like that's the next uh, evolution of humans to understand telekinesis yeah oh, that would change everything if you could not speak read minds or communicate by thinking far away yeah but yeah but then people could look at us through the camera on tiktok and say oh i want to speak to matt mm, and then our brains would be oh. so scrambled yeah <laughs> we would we would get an overload of okay you can only messages. you can only do it it would only work <laughs> if you both do it together same time so yes. no no receptors you would have come to, through like, link in yeah so it'd be like okay i'm gonna think of this person hopefully they think of me yeah or like message them saying hey just think of me quickly i want to have a conversation <laughs> Ooh, life will become so much easier. Yeah, but would it be? It'd be really secret. Well, no, it, this is like a this is a Black Mirror episode. I might pitch this. <laughs> I might write this fucking script and sell it for a million V bucks. <laughs> yeah, but that's like Neuralink, and Elon Musk mm. is doing that. Like trying to. Yeah, did, yeah. Didn't he cure someone of blindness, or he cured like he put an implant in someone's brain, and it did something, and it told the brain how to speak or something. to speak, or was it? What's um Back to the Future guy, uh Michael J. Fox? Guy. Oh, Parkinson's. Yeah, I think he cured someone of Parkinson's. With I think he did something. I saw no, I don't know if that was. Trust me, I'm saying it. So it's well, true. I told you that they they think they found something. That's, yeah, <laughs> fucking fact check this guy every episode. <laughs> that, that reminds me, I haven't said a comment from the last episode. Oh yeah, the, fine one. Okay. Um, you, they, I told you like last episode, I think that they they think they've found a cure to slow down Alzheimer's. Mm, that's it and reduce the yeah, effects yeah. which is insane isn't Alzheimer's the most popular death but not popular well, I don't yeah I'm not, I wouldn't <laughs> say it's got many fans I don't think anyone's going <laughs> Alzheimer's yeah it's got 1.4 million followers yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one new Alzheimer's 96 minute <laughs> no but it is the most uh, yeah because all my of old people yeah my great granddad died in the war but the rest of them all died of Alzheimer's mm. the war it's an honourable way to go. Yeah, honourable. But from Lily L- Lilila Durham one five two nine, she said, "My mum thinks your names are Matt and John, <laughs> except Matt is John and Lloyd is Matt." <laughs> <laughs> your dad's called John, is he? Or is it a construct? Or is he? Is he not even real? Because how do we, we were never born? What? Do you remember being born? No. No, we I'm not. Uh, I'm loaded not, in. I'm not Terence. <laughs> Terence uh, McGway or something. Yeah, what was his name? Nightingale. No. Oh. There's some guy. What's his fucking name? The the guy. There's some guy that went on Joe Rogan and Terence went, Howard. That's it. He remembered. He remembers being in the <laughs> in his mum's womb. He says he remembers being in his mum's womb true. and being born and it's everything. Just not true at all. Mm. But yeah, how do you not? How do you know we didn't just load? And your parents are just only load in when you see them. Yeah. Because my mum just texts me saying she's going to the cinema, so she has to be real. <laughs> she can't just load in. Yeah, when but I... that could just be part of the game. It's not like that's like an NPC conversation. I'm going to the cinema. That's not an NPC. Don't that be mean MP- to my mum. No, that's not, that's not a mean thing to say. I'm just saying starting a conversation, I'm going to the cinema, is like something that if you're playing a game, mm. they would say. They'd just come up to you and go, I'm going to the cinema. <laughs> would you... How would you navigate if you found out you were in the Truman Show? Like, if you found out that your whole life, every <sighs> bit had been meticulously planned, how would you react? Would you I, I, I cease think I'd, to exist? Or? I'd look straight in the camera at the end and say, good morning, good afternoon, yeah, good, good night. <laughs> <laughs> but if the world is like a matrix of... I'm not talking like an Andrew Tate matrix. I'm talking yeah, like yeah, a yeah. genuine like COVID, video game. Yeah. Then, then surely, um, what is it when you sort of manifest? Surely that's all real then. Surely mm. if you wanted to say, okay, I'm going to be a millionaire. 
surely you can do that. No, because you're not in charge. Yeah, but you are in charge. If this is the charge. game, you're sending... You your, think you're in your, charge. Your person that's controlling you on the game is mm. saying, oh, it's like when you play uh, FIFA and you're as a manager and it's like this little 19-year-old wants to play a striker in the Champions League final. Mm. He's telling you, oh, he wants to be a striker. I'm telling my pro <laughs> that I want, I want to be a millionaire. millionaire. Yeah, but what do you do with that 19-year-old striker? You sell him because he's not <laughs> fucking any good. Yeah, but that's still like... Yeah, and then that's that's another pathway. But maybe it's to get- everyone here on this planet, 8 billion people all want a million pounds. They then have 8, milli- 8 billion users playing them who are all vying for that, who then all of them have 8 billion users. Oh, so- <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm going to explode. So yep. who were, who were, who were, who were, who, 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 Karen? No, what were you going to say? I was going to say, who were the worst YouTubers you watched? Oh. Because I was just thinking, like, FoosieTube, drama, um, drama alert gets it like drama the the guy the russian guy what's his name vitaly vitaly hd lo, like getting so much drama like all these gabby Hanna drama like all yeah. these youtubers i there's like none of them who are like squeaky clean yeah there which is. i think is who outdoor boys yeah you'd hope so <laughs> <laughs> i hope he's clean someone wrote a fan fiction about him <laughs> and it's just like to imagine it it's just like oh my god i don't god. ever want to imagine it <laughs> i don't ever want to imagine it uh, it's like you bump into him down like a path in alaska <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ there's no paths in alaska it's just open <laughs> snow but like there's just barely any who are squeaky clean wow. but i think that's probably an accurate representation of i think society like everyone makes mistakes yeah these but, people are just held way more accountable and obviously some of their mistakes are way worse than the average person oh yeah definitely do you, do you see uh so like ava tyson mm. he said because at the moment there's a lot of or oh, he said he went separate they like uh it was what is it when both parties say mutual consent mut- mutual decision to leave mr beast but mr beast tweeted or whatever said he, he fired him, him. Yeah, yeah. as he should yeah as he fucking definitely. should but he fumbled generational wealth. Yeah, yeah, well, he's probably got fucking money already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, Chandler has no controversy at all, I swear. Yeah, I've never seen anything about he, him. He posts Bible verses on TikTok. Does he? And they Bang. each, er, every one of them, 10 mil views. Good. Oh, yeah. damn, that's good. And they're like, it's just no cuts. It's just him reading a verse. And then he just describes the verse. One of them's got like 50 mil, two minutes long. <laughs> Get that sweet off. Yeah, here. sweet. Wow, well, ten p. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone's got to preach. Yeah, preacher, preach. But uh, yeah. What else was I gonna say? Well, just bad YouTubers, good YouTubers. Who was your favorite YouTubers growing up? See, this is gonna sound so nerdy. Why are you? <laughs> why are you They're hurting my head. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I didn't wear earphones. Yeah, but I need to make sure the audio is fine. I wore my earphones like that once when we were at your house, and you took the piss out of it. Because it was like for the whole thing. Yeah, it I was cool. like, why have you got them it on? It looked cool, it looked cool. I've just worn them for 40 minutes of <laughs> actual content. The I really like watching a channel called BN2, I'm pretty sure. What the hell is that? B- you watched that growing up? Two, yeah. Wait, what? B2N, I'm pretty sure. No, B2N beats BN2. <laughs> no i can't find a channel okay but it's basically a channel that just talks about uh, plans of architecture in the future so that's how i found about the norwegian motorway yep the line i knew yep. about the line like way before anyone else yeah because even of that the people channel. Who live there uh there's like super tall buildings being built and it's all just like a 30 minute video going deep in detail of how they're building it the problems they have to go through and shit like that and i used to love that and that's what you watched growing up whilst everyone else was watching like the side man and i know i know i did watch the side man <laughs> i did i just can't remember i loved road to shore joe weller but i can't think of like jake and logan that was probably, yeah. that was probably the main <laughs> ones <laughs> i watched calyx as well yeah cal freezy as well remember all the diss tracks cap gun tom i watched cap gun tom he made me from watching his videos <laughs> he made me i made a full psg team because he did a road to glory with psg so i brought the whole psg team on ultimate team and like proper rotated them when they were you know how everyone buys fitness and puts on the <laughs> yeah. team i would rotate them that's when mental. they were actually running low that's I'd, mental i dropped them for the midfielders here on the bench 
<laughs> what do you reckon your game time is on Xbox? Like all time. I know that on Modern Warfare 2, in a year, it was 27 days. Out of the whole year. Yeah, which is... Do you reckon you have a year's game actually, time? Yeah. Are you joking? We're 25. I've been playing Xbox since I was 10. I started about f- yeah, actually, 12, a year. 13. A year of uh, game time. And we play for like six hours a night. No, we don't. Yes, we do. We start at seven. No, and we, we don't start at seven. We, we start... Literally after eight, almost. Okay. I start after eight almost okay. every day. Eight and o'clock. Come off before midnight. No, be yes. tell the truth. No, I swear. There's sometimes where we stay. There up is until some like 4 rare a.m. occasions, yeah, and then we're like, I'm not doing <laughs> that again. No, but I think it's mostly be- after twelve because every time we wake up in the morning, we say to each other, I'm "Not staying on to up after yeah. twelve ever again." So that's four hours a night. That's four hours, but a not day. every day. Pretty much. No, every I'd say day. I play. F- Four days out of every two weeks. Yeah, okay, yeah, but you're not here a lot All of the time. It. Yeah, I'm. That's my. And that's, we took, that's who I speak to. We took. Yeah, no, I'm not. I don't think it's bad to game at all. Nah, loads of people game. The whole world games. Yeah, the whole world. But games. like how? Um, that's like my time where I'm like switch off from yeah, yeah. TikTok and, and it's stuff. just funny as well. Yeah, it's like always I, humorous. I th- I'm not thinking of ideas or anything. And if and if no one's playing Xbox, I really like oh damn what do I do because otherwise I just start thinking about TikTok and I'm like I don't want to think about it a whole year of gaming with four hours a night well just 24 hours a day would mean you'd have to play 8,760 hours of gaming which divided by four is 2,100 days of play like you'd have to play four hours a day for 2,190 days see I think I have because in lockdown I was playing the pretty much the whole so day much, yeah. and then even before lockdown yeah. i was playing the whole day because i didn't have a job yeah and then fresh out of school and then even when it was sixth form i was playing pretty much every day because i didn't go to school <laughs> i only went to school two days a week that was me going oh, okay yeah <laughs> you, then, you've definitely got more than a year right? yeah and also like oh my god i just remember there was one time where it was modern warfare 2 double xp weekend I set the alarm for like 5 a.m. Just, to, just to play. Embarrassing. Just to play. I actually don't think you've played a day now because 25 a uh, uh, year. Sorry. No, I think 25 years year. is 9,100 days. Yeah, but you've got to remember, you've got to remember that when I, between the ages of nine and 15, every weekend was like from seven to seven. Like, I would get up at 7 a.m. and play it. That's insane. A couple hours break. Like, my friends <laughs> were just gamers. So that's yeah. why I've, like, gone into gaming. I was so good at it as well. Mm. I've proper lost it because I, like, just haven't played. Yeah, I had a couple of years where I didn't haven't played. Yeah, when we moved here, we didn't play until... Until Jack asked us. Wait, when did Jack asked us to get a box? Like, November, December. Oh, yeah. And, and, that, moved, and that was so a So we year. played over a whole year of not playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's weird. No, we didn't. We have our, we had our Xbox Ones, and we played with like Dan and stuff. Yeah, we did. But, but that, I swear, but we still just, that wasn't that wasn't that much uh, gaming time. We definitely didn't play for like a year. I don't even think I got FIFA twenty three. Did I? No, I don't think I. Was I don't FIFA. think I did. No, but I I it's it's given me flashbacks of like there were times where I'd have to like tiptoe downstairs. Yeah. S- switch on the TV, <laughs> and like just like really be and like I'd get I'd get killed and I'd have to go like. <laughs> Fuck! Have and you ever broken controllers? Yeah, all the time. In I'd, rage. I would throw them, and they would absolutely explode against the wall. Where would you? You throw them against the wall? Against the wall, yeah. I'd get slapped so hard if I, I did. I, 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 they were. Oh, what did I break? I broke my brother's headset once, and I literally got beaten the shit out of <laughs> yeah. by my brother. I broke. I there's a there's like a hole in the wall still. That's just like can't be. It's been no. It's like obviously been plastered up. Mm. And uh, yeah, that's where I just like fucking threw the <laughs> controller. But then when I started growing up older, I realized that they're like 60 pounds. Mm. And I was like, damn, Road to Shore like ugh, makes it seem like they're free. Because he used to just launch them. And his monitors. Yeah, Jesus. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. But if you're making loads of it back by doing it. Yeah, exactly. Then it's worth it. Because that was his like USB. Yeah. P. P. <laughs> unique selling point was breaking shit and yeah. getting packs that were all fake in the end weren't they 
I think the older he got, the fake when he moved into like the tower and stuff. I think that's when it started becoming. He had to fake. keep getting. That's a problem when you have to one up yourself. Yeah, is it you have to turn to like? That's what I feel like our TikTok account is going through at the moment, having to one up ourselves. Yeah, with the ranking and the and the yeah, like it the, can't be. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Our, like the yesterday's video is so good, and the stats are insane. So good, and TikTok they're, just haven't pushed probably it. Probably the best. That's probably the best five seconds ever. Ever. And definitely on an IRL video, they're the best stats we've had on any IRL yeah, video. Yeah, and it's just like, just doesn't get pushed. It's on like 70. And I'm like, what? But the one before where we ranked. Uh, what did we rank before? Skippable songs. Yeah. That's all. It's on like 1.8 mil. <laughs> yeah. But then we film an IRL video, which is so good. <sighs> and it's like on 70k. And I used to do TikTok analysis as a job. Yeah. And it was so easy when I was like to know what was what. Hmm. And then it went through like March 2022. Was it March 2022? Yeah, around that time. No, 23, March 2023. The algorithm just, we felt it, everyone felt it. Just one week it changed. And I was like, wait, what video is banging now? Well, I have no idea. Hmm. And then even as for work, I was like, I've, and I did this extensive analysis and I just couldn't figure it out. And then it changed again around like Christmas. Changes all our views the from time. Christmas to March of this year were really bad. Really, oh my god, they, that like, was like that was the we were deleting like four videos a week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they the, were so scary. It got to a point where I was like, I went on a run because I was practicing for the charity match, and I was like, what the fuck do I like? What do we do? Mm. Like, no, nothing is working at all. Nothing. And um. That's like I went on I went on a bench to look out at the ocean and in between my hands someone had scribbled in keep going. Mm, I and remember I, you telling me this. And I was literally like, whoa. But then from March to like last couple of weeks, even f we're fine now. Yeah, our views are doing good now. Yeah. But still, you, uh, TikTok has a problem because people keep posting their nails. Oh, yeah. Basically, there's a trend where people post their new nails, but they literally have their vagina out. I'm yeah. not joking. So... And that's been a problem that TikTok are trying to solve. So they're not, they're being very picky with what they push, like what videos reach people. If you look at your For You page, they're only videos from May. Yeah, they're mainly June, videos from all that and stuff. And we were absolutely popping in July, uh, June. Yeah. Like I remember walking to see my car. No, May. No, no, June. June was insane. Was it? Yeah, June was oh. nuts. Like we posted barely anything because of the Euros and like every other video was getting a mail. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe. And for a podcast as well, that's insane. Yeah. May made more money though than June. I think so, yeah. yeah. No, I don't think it did. It did. Definitely did. No, I don't think it did. I think... Uh... Oh no, it didn't. Oh yeah, it did. No, it did. It did. Definitely <laughs> did. <laughs> but, hold on. Really important message before we go. On to the, the talks. To, on to the talks. Cameo? Hmm. Would you be interested in a cameo? Yeah, if we, if we started a cameo. And I've got want. a surprise for you as well. What is it? You will find out next episode. Awesome. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. But it's a surprise for you and a surprise for you. And I'm going to show it on the pod and you're going to, your mind might explode. Let's fucking go. I'll flip it. I'm just going to say it. It's merch. You ordered some? Yes. To see what it's like? Yes. Okay. And we're going to That's what I it. thought it was, yeah. Okay. We'll see if it's good quality. And there was another thing as well. Oh, yeah. We actually have a flipping good concept for the vlogs. Yeah. Fantastic concept. I... Don't reveal it. No, I'm not going to say anything. When we do like two, three episodes, we'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's going to be sick. I'm excited to do them because we can do it once a week. Yeah. We could just... Oh, I don't even want to say, holy smokes, there's a crane like going down the road so fast. <laughs> that is Can you see that? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, let's get into the tux. Best first dance wedding songs, one to 10. If we say the same one, we kiss. Let's go. Number 10, Love, Lana Del Rey. Okay. Number 10, You and I by John Legend. That's very low. You have it in your list? I don't actually. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's it called? You and I. Okay, no, I actually don't. <laughs> That's very high. <laughs> Number nine, you've got the love, Florence and Machine. You've got the love. It's a bit fast for a first. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm just saying. 
Number nine, Until I Found You by Stephen Sanchez. That is so low. You think? <laughs> what is your list? <laughs> it is going to be good. Number eight, You're My Best Friend, Queen. Okay, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't have any Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, perfect, Ed Sheeran. Uh, I love Ed. Every, every, every video, <laughs> I defend him until I die. <laughs> Number seven, Love on Top, Beyonce. Okay. Uh-huh. I've only got a house remix in my head of that song, though. Yeah, just get rid of the house. <laughs> Number seven, Make You Feel My Love by Adele. Okay. Yeah, a bit of Adele in there. <laughs> British sensation. Number six, The Way You Look Tonight, Rod Stewart. Okay. Rod Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Roddy Rich. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number six, all of me, John Legend. Okay, that is low. Ooh, I just thought it was so so overplayed. It's also not on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, at last, Ella James. How's that go? At last, it's a beautiful night. Is it an old joint? You've never heard that? I don't think so. You have heard that. My love has come strong. Dim, dim, dim. And you and I... You, you've heard that? Yeah, probably. It was not, on the, not it was the FIFA 17 trailer. <laughs> Why would I <laughs> remember the trailer suck? <laughs> oh, everyone knows that. Number five, XO, but John Mayer's version. You ever heard it? Yeah, but that's just... No, number okay, five. Okay, what's the first line? You and I. No. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, stay with you, John Legend. I thought you were about to say what I said. Number four, stand by me, Ben E. King. That's a banger. Darling, darling, stand by me. Sorry. <laughs> that went so deep <laughs> in your mouth. <laughs> I hit my te teeth on metal. You went to metal. <laughs> <laughs> you went all the way to metal. That's only like an inch, bro. That is more than an inch. No, that's probably about an inch. Well, then we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, can't help falling in love with you, Elvis Prezes. That We're getting really close. We are. Number three, your song by Elton John. I don't have that. Oh, I don't have I finally that. caught him out with one. You don't have your song by Alan Johnny Boy! <laughs> Number two, Until I Found You, Stephen Sanchez. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. NPC TikTok music up at number two. No, joking. <laughs> number two, Can't Have Fallen in Love, Elvis. <gasps> we might have the same number one then. We won't. I think we will. I don't think we will. Number one, Unchained Melody. <gasps> Melody. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis. No. Elvis! No, I have uh, Somewhere Only We Know by Keen. I love really? that song. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah. getting first dance to that? 100%. That's going to be my song. Get out of time. <laughs> I fucking chipped my tooth on the metal. Best nicknames of all time. Emily and Chris version. Go. Emigrant. <laughs> Emigrant? <laughs> Especially if she like just moves from one town to the other. <laughs> Uh, I've got M no phlegm when she smokes a blem. <laughs> <laughs> There's layers to that. I've got illegal immigrant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's when she dips country, not town. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've got Emil Smith rope. <laughs> M and M. <laughs> there's two of them. Yeah. There's two Emily's. They're M and M. <laughs> if she's dating a Dylan, I've got Silly Millie Loves Big Dilly. <laughs> Empire State Building. <laughs> if she's like six foot eight. <laughs> uh, Emmy Bubbles. <laughs> Emmy Bubbles. <laughs> Email. Ooh. What a terrible nickname. <laughs> For Chris, I've got Christ Almighty, he's risen again. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Chrissy Wake Up. Chrissy Wake Up. <laughs> oh. uh, I've got Christmas Bells are ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Unspoken Chris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> if he's slightly tanned, he's sun kissed Chris. <laughs> Ava. Uh, Chrissy Wissy Bung Bong. I've <laughs> <laughs> <We> got. <laughs> uh, my last one is forget about it, Korea. <laughs> <laughs> My last one is cry cry. Cry cry cry. Cry cry. Cry cry. She's a ten, but she wears glasses. Yeah, still a ten. Like I said, we don't discriminate against glasses. <laughs> She's a ten, but her outfit game is second to none. Still a ten. Who <laughs> wants him to dress trash? <laughs> She's a ten, but she'll call you darling. Yeah, still a ten, I guess. It's a bit old fashioned, but still a ten. <laughs> She's a 10, but she's small. How small? Small. 10. Still a 10. She's a 10, but she's got like dark black hair. Or just dark hair. Still a 10. <laughs> These are all still a 10. She's a 10, but she's half German, half Japanese. Still a 10. <laughs> so at the moment, it's 10 all around. Straight 10. <laughs> She's a 10, but she's eccentric. Ooh. Now I'm a bit more mellow than mm. eccentric. So mm. we'll say eight. Okay, so it's just tens all round and an eight. Yep. Do you know who I'm describing? Nope. Edna Mold. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Edna Mold. <laughs> she's got a bob. <laughs> Baby names, by law, you cannot call your child. Let's go. Scrotum. Oh, wow. And Facebook. Two very different things. <laughs> In Mexico. In Mexico, no scrotum or Facebook. <laughs> they must really hate Zuckerberg. <laughs> In France, Nutella. Oh, wow. I don't know. Who the fuck's going to call him Nutella? At least just call him chocolate spread. <laughs> Islam in China. You can't call them Islam in China. Mm-hmm. Why? They they really against the I religion? Think, I think so. Must be. In Switzerland, J. <laughs> the letter Just or? the letter J. Really? But you can say J-A-Y. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is the fucking point in that? <laughs> this one I thought was pretty amusing. There is no law at all. There's no, sorry. There is no rules at all in the state of Kentucky. You can name your child anything. Really? What would you call your child? McBung Fuckweena? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? We should try and find the best names in Kentucky. Ooh. If it's a, a, if it's a no-go Zozo Bone. <laughs> this one was mental. You can't call your child Matty in Germany. Really? Yeah, Matty's gone. But Matthew and Matt are fine. There is no Matthew in Germany. It's like Matthias. Ah. But you can't call them Matty. Damn. So Matty's called him Matthew. Matthew. Matthias. <laughs> Matthew. And Stompy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be gutted about this one. Yeah. But in France, this is something I'd call my son. Mm -hmm. Mini Cooper. Oh, no. <laughs> what no. if you're called M Cooper? And you're small. <laughs> and your nickname is Mini Cooper. <laughs> Oh, that's Mini so Cooper May. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want him to comment? Uh, I want him to comment green hat. Where's the green hat? On oh, my fucking head. Oh, yeah. Comment green hat. <laughs> like the video. Subscribe. Five thousand Spotify. Send us a fiver. Comment anything you want to comment. <laughs> Notifications on. Um, 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 go watch our TikToks, the IRL ones, because every time we film an IRL video on TikTok, we're also getting content for a vlog. So that'll be up soon. Matt's going to Barcelona. No, I'm going to Ibiza. Ibiza tomorrow, this morning, next morning, whatever it is. No, I would have been back. I would have been You'll to be back Ibiza. by now, yeah. Too. So we'll talk about that on the next one. Big twice. Like the video. See you later. Bye. Love you. <laughs>